Want end of game type stats in this game with essentially no story progress? Well, I'll show you how to do it. It's actually pretty easy. Well, kind of. But I'm going to make it a little more challenging for you. Of course, you can avoid some of these challenges, too. I've done this many times, in case you're wondering. Okay, I'm going to load a new game. Normally, for a completed game, I'd have otherwise done this, but that's not what I'm going to do. I just leave the names as is. I just like using defaults. So, that's what I'm going to do. Now, you'll be treated to some story elements. I'll skip those. Okay. Now we have control. First, access the menus. Change the configuration settings to how you want. I like this one better. This I hate so much and I wish the system didn't even have it. It's really irritating. Yeah, that's for Origins. That's one of the bonuses you get in there. Enemy lists, bestiary, things like that. Not really necessary. So, just go from there. I've had Mindu, which is that one I just spoke to, with 9999HP. Yeah, 9999HP. Normally you shouldn't be even be having that kind of thing. One thing you could do, however, is go to these barrels and stuff and check them to see if they got treasures in them. But we're not really going to be going after that right now. We got something else to do. And that is get equipment. What comes to mind first is the all important cure spell. Cure. Restores HP. Yeah, you're gonna need it. Okay. But we will also need this one. Do not get it right now. Why you get this one, as opposed to these others? Well, there's a reason for that. First, just get one Cure Spell. That's it. Okay? Now, do you do? Initially, nobody seems to have anything, either. Another thing I also recommend doing is moving Maria into the front. To use this spell, notice how it's up in here? Just choose it, and then choose whoever wants, whoever to learn the spell. However, one thing to consider is, note the spirit stat, four from the bottom, the ten there, the ten there, the ten there, on the same spot, they're all tens though. So in that case, it makes no difference who learns it. So, who do I want to put it on? Well, I would think I should put it on him. But that's up to you, it really don't make much of a difference. So, we're going to ignore the weapons for now, they're a bit on the pricey side, but we're going to instead get armor. Armor? Well, I really don't have much of anything in the way of armor. So, what do you get here? Well, you could get a shield, and four of these three of these. You can only buy them one at a time. If you want, you can also get a shield. Those are mostly improve on evasion, but we'll be mostly skipping the shields, because I really don't use them. So, now to equip them, all you gotta do is choose equipment. That was a hand, right? gloves, you know, go on the hands, add it in there, notice how defense goes from two, green arrow, to three, that means it goes up, okay, next character, one goes to two, good, there we go, 
great. But notice how this time if I choose remove, it's three red arrow too. That means it goes down. One thing to consider. Why move Maria in the front initially, you might be wondering? Well, because otherwise she won't be getting hit and really needs HP. So, that's why I put her up in the front. So, I guess now we leave. Really ain't much here to do right now. And I would highly recommend saving. Yeah, this is take two in case you're wondering while you're noticing that. I noticed this. That's about what we'll be kind of getting into. It took me 50 arrows just to get max HP. And that's without exploiting any bugs in the game. Bugs? Well, I'll get to that. So, stay near the town and fight the enemies that come here. We'll need to get lots of it. Hornet. These things can cause poison, and they're also kind of hard to hit. So just attack. Do not restore anyone's HP unless it's an emergency. That's poison right there, but it's just temporary. One. Why not? Why don't you want to restore HP? Well, it turns out that from the start. It's based, the amount of HP that you get, um, HP boosts are determined based on what you start with and the start of the battle and what you end with. Typically, you uh, start getting at about 20% loss for HP boosts. So, here. For her, I'd recommend you hit. So just choose the spell. Choose the only one hit. Put it on. Notice how the mastery went up. 